Honey Queen is the queen of my heart, and I'm not alone. There are many fans out there who are also hoping to see her in the booster course pass. While it's not yet confirmed, I'm not giving up hope. In fact, I'm manifesting it. I'm doing all sorts of things to make Honey Queen come into the booster course pass, like lighting candles, saying prayers, and if that's not enough, I have some pretty wild and interesting theories hinting to her grand comeback into the Mario Kart series. So stick around, shy guys and gals, we are in for a wild ride. Please like and subscribe. First, we'll break down the remaining characters in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. As of Wave 5, Birdo, Petey, Kamek, and Wiggler are the new DLC characters which leaves two more drivers to be revealed for Wave 6. So I believe our first character for Wave 6 could be Diddy Kong. This honestly speaks for itself. While Funky Kong is also a great character, Diddy Kong has been around for much longer and has been featured in many more Mario Kart games. It is all clear that he's more deserving of this spot, and fans would be thrilled to see him finally make his entry in Mario Kart 8. He really honestly should have been in the base game. Speaking of characters being featured in past Mario Kart games, all the drivers so far in the DLC have been. It is also worth noting, I know I might get some hate for this, but Kamek is a Mario Kart 8 character. While he didn't make it into the final version of the game, he was always planned for Mario Kart 8. Surprisingly, this exact theory was confirmed by his datamined badge, which was discovered by the players after this game's release, the Wii U version. So yes, sorry to burst your bubble, but I don't think they will truly add any tour characters in the booster course pass just veterans from past Mario Kart games. So yes, that pretty much means that Pauline is deconfirmed in my heart. Again, she could definitely come, but I just really don't think so. All right, so this brings us to our last character in the DLC. Who could it be? Honey Queen. Now you may be like, Shaggy Kart, come on, she does not fit this DLC at all. She's actually forgotten any relevant character. But what if I told you she does fit this booster course pass quite a bit? So at this point, we do know that characters do not have to match up with a track in their wave to debut in the booster course pass. I mean, PD Prana, Wiggler, and Kamek have nothing to do with the tracks in their respective wave. However, let me just say this. So we can pretty much expect a Wii track as the last track in the Booster Course Pass, and that will be Wii Rainbow Road. In my opinion, I feel like the GCN track was replaced by Moonview Highway. So, what does Wii Rainbow Road remind you of, slash represent? Mario Galaxy. Which game did Honey Queen debut in? Mario Galaxy. Has she ever been in a past Mario Kart game? Mario Kart 7! The exact same game that Wiggler debuted in, making her our oldest veteran not featured in the Booster Course Pass. Once again, this whole track theme idea slash theory has been deconfirmed, but again, I just wanted to mention it. And since I know some people are going to bring this up, I am not going to include Rob as a veteran, because just... no. And Pear Troopa is a reskin of Koopa. I'm sorry. While it is highly probable that Honey Queen will be included in the upcoming DLC, there is still a possibility that she may not make an appearance. This is due to the fact that Honey Queen has been noticeably absent from the Mario Kart series for quite some time, making her somewhat irrelevant to current audiences. That breaks my heart to say because I love her so much! It is also worth noting that she has not been featured in any Mario spin-off games after her appearance in Mario Kart, or honestly any 3D games in that matter. Her only name drop slash reference has been in Mario Kart Tour. That's literally it. Which brings us to our next topic, Honey Queen in Mario Kart Tour. This is where things are about to get interesting. Alright, so it's quite ironic that Honey Queen is not featured in Mario Kart Tour, despite the fact that she has a plethora of items associated with her character. Given her prominence in Mario Kart 7, where she served as a heavyweight character with unique attributes, it is somewhat surprising that she has not been included in Tour, where we have seen a literal dog playable instead of her. Already, let us examine the various items associated with Honey Queen in Mario Kart Tour. To begin, there is her signature cart from Mario Kart 7 being the Bumblebee. This cart has two reskins in Tour, including the Queen Bee, which is quite literally a cart named after her, and the most recent addition to her collection of carts is the Rose Queen, which was introduced in 2020 in the Flower Tour. The inclusion of these carts in the game shows her impact on the Mario Kart franchise as a whole. Now for the badges. Oh damn, the badges. On the challenge card page of Mario Kart Tour, there's a badge featuring Honey Queen's Mario Kart 7 emblem that is associated with the Racer's Lemonade Challenge. This badge was first introduced in 20 freaking 19, alongside with a matching one that featured Nabbit's freaking emblem. And this was despite the fact that he wasn't even a playable character in this game at the time. It was not until almost a year later that Nabbit made his debut, leading fans to believe that the badge was an easter egg all along. What is particularly noteworthy is that this badge is still obtainable to this day, despite the fact that Honey Queen has yet to be included in this game. I mean, it has been four freaking years. Nintendo, stop teasing us! What's even more crazy is that this badge was featured on a Coconut Mall advertisement in both Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart 8. This has to mean something, I'm sure, like come on now! The last official badge teasing Honey Queen is a new badge of her Bumblebee cart. 
This badge debuted in April of 2023, in the Spring slash Athens tour in Mario Kart Tour. And now, the last thing to discuss that will solidify her as the last character in the Booster Course Pass is her entry into Mario Kart Tour. Every quote unquote new DLC character in the Booster Course Pass has been featured in Mario Kart Tour. Even Wiggler made his grand comeback into the Mario Kart franchise in the Pipe Tour. So yes, it is clear that every DLC character has to be in Tour before it is in Mario Kart 8. Let's take this information and apply it to Honey Queen. What I will say is that it lines up perfectly to my theory. Let's dive in. Consider me slightly unhinged, but I believe I may have finally cracked the code to Honey Queen's debut in Mario Kart Tour. And of course, if my theories do hold true, her appearance in the Booster Course Pass will be confirmed. Of course, I must stress that this is all purely speculative. Nonetheless, let the excitement begin. Alright, so the very reliable data miners from Mario Kart Tour like Hoopa Vosselot who has managed to data mine many of Mario Kart Tour's content, he has predicted that tours may go into repeat mode after the 4th anniversary tour in Mario Kart Tour, being in September. This means that all tours in year 5 and onwards will have same names and mostly same content that we had in year 4 tours. Why is this relevant to Honey Queen? Well, the first official tour of year 4 in Mario Kart Tour was the Battle Tour. The Battle Tour debuted two new Battle Tracks and then Battle Tracks randomly stopped releasing within a month. It was honestly quite weird. So my theory is that Year 5 will start with the Battle Tour, of course repeating it from last year, debuting two more Battle Tracks. One could randomly just be Chain Chomp Wheel, I don't really know, and the other could be Honey Bee High. Yes, that course from Mario Kart 7. This fits absolutely perfectly and this tour could finally introduce Honey Queen. The Battle Tour starts in October, ready in time for Wave 6 the Booster Course Pass finale. And that's a wrap for this video. I feel like the Booster Pass as a whole was just pretty rushed. Looking at the first wave's graphics compared to now, they just don't compare at all. It looks like the devs took Wave 1 tracks straight out of tour and pasted them into Mario Kart 8, which was not a good look. Luckily, this has been proven to be false in the following waves. The graphics have been absolutely incredible, but the consistency of this pass? It's just been a whole mess. It's called the Course Pass and they randomly started to add characters at the 4th wave. Something really isn't adding up. And the quantity of characters per wave doesn't make sense either. 1, then 3, then 2 ending off wave 6? Make it make sense! Nonetheless, the pass has progressively gotten better and that's what matters. Huge round of applause to this game and the impact it's had throughout these years. Let's hope Honey Queen closes out this game with a bang. Keeping us me guys, make sure to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.